have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Hey, what's up, everybody? So here we are using the styrofoam cutter. Um, this is just a, some time lapse of me using the styrofoam cutter so you can see what I'm doing. And it's pretty simple, but uh, uh, this is just the basic layout. I'm making a box for the cold fusion experiments. So keep that in mind. This is what this is for. Um, one thing also with this styrofoam cutter, uh, if the wire is too hot and you're pushing it too hard, it will break. And that's exactly what happened here, unfortunately. But no big deal. Put a new wire on. Um, I recommend having the bottom wire up almost flush with the wood. That way that it's not as hot on the bottom. And that makes life a lot, a lot easier. All right, you can see what I'm talking about here. If you look really closely at the bottom of the wire, it's actually glowing red hot and what's happening here is that the um, surrounding is not um, it's not as cool it's it's hot because it's down inside that hole so if you look here when I stop it's glowing red hot and in this case I put too much tension on the wire and if you watch it the wire actually breaks all on its own you can see it glowing and there it just snapped so that's what I'm saying. If you if you bring the wire up towards the bottom of the um, the wood there, which I did later, uh, all was well. It seemed to work pretty well. All right, so here we are, more time lapse, and um, cutting. The uh, styrofoam cutter actually works really well. I was pretty happy with it. Um, the only thing I would have done differently is put an actual base on it, so it had the styrofoam could slide better. Here's a nice little overview of what the uh, box basically looks like. I just mocked it up and then cut all the pieces as I wanted it. So now we're moving on to actually putting the box together. And uh, I ended up laying some uh, paper on my tables, on my benches, and then using some of this uh, Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. And that's what I used uh, to spray on both sides of the points that I wanted to contact. Um, I actually got that at the local local hardware store and uh, this stuff uh, this was a test right here this stuff worked okay but you can't put it on real thick it, it did not hold but if you put it on light on both sides and then stick it it seemed to do really well but uh, as you can see here I'm trying to pull it apart and see that one was a little bit too thick you can see how it's actually pulling back apart that's not helpful the other ones, um, I don't remember if the other ones were lighter, but as I did this, the more and more I did this, the more I learned that the lighter you put it on, the better it is. See, those actually stuck together quite quite well. But I actually ended up having to screw these things together later. The first box just didn't quite hold. Alright, so I ended up using this cardboard jig as a guide. Um, now I did this differently on the second box that I made, but this worked, I mean it worked alright. Um, the next box I made was a lot bigger, so I had to do this a little bit differently. But I just marked and then sprayed all the particular pieces that I needed to um, assemble this box. And one piece at a time, I put it together. And uh, I mean overall this worked pretty well, but, um, but the, the next step here, the taping, so I used, it, I used um, the correct type of tape, however it did not stick to this box. It did not stick so well that I ended up just peeling it back off and putting on a very thick aluminum tape. Now here I'm actually putting corners inside there. I ended up thinking that I probably shouldn't have put these in there because it just didn't help anything. I was thinking it would seal it better, but I think I should have just put aluminum tape if I, were, if I was that concerned, but that's just what I did. Yay! Oh, it's late night. I'm recording this audio. Alright, here I'm making the lid. So basically the 2 inch thick styrofoam slides inside the other box. But then I have a 1 inch little lip around the outside and then I put seals on that lip. So that basically just allowed me to uh, seal the front but yet still have a 2 inch thick 
Here I'm cutting the handles. Uh, I put handles on the front originally, but later on I actually took these off. But uh, that actually worked uh, fairly decent. And then uh, I sanded the front of the box here just to get it flat, but I actually did something later, which I'll, I'll explain later. So here we go. Da, 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 da. This looks out of focus, but I guess it's not. All right. Turn this so I can see myself. So here's the box. Um, it has uh, I put corners on the inside just in case uh, I thought I needed a little bit more protection. Added some nice uh, tape on the outside here. Let's see what kind this is. It doesn't stick very well, believe it or not. And then my lid consists of front panel and I cut some in half here and uh, basically made a connection here. And then I cut out some handles and glued them on too. So, fits really nice. Like that. And I can pull a little at a time and get this to come back out. So the only addition is I'm gonna put some uh, stuff like this. This is real squishy along this edge. Um, probably get some different stuff. This is too small and make a better seal all the way around here. Other than that, turned out really nice. Now I gotta cut everything now to put my contraption in here. We'll see how that goes. All right, so there we go. Now I, I needed to cut some slots in here to have my uh, pipes stick out the side. So I actually used a, a regular handsaw, a little fine tooth, uh, a hacksaw blade and then came back and then cut my little pieces that fit in there. Uh, that little hacksaw worked pretty good. I couldn't fit the whole thing back in my wire styrofoam cutter so I just did it that way. Alright so here we are. That fo that re that uh, spit it out Russ. That footage was recorded on 814. This footage that you're seeing uh, looks identical however this was recorded on the 10th I believe. Uh, 10, oh, I'm sorry, 10 7. It's up there in the corner. So, in this one, I actually used paper and sprayed the sides and just used cardboard as little side things. And uh, that worked a little bit easier than trying to cut out a piece of cardboard and make it work. So, I prepped all the pieces with the same spray adhesive, but I put a very little bit on it considering uh, last time how it didn't stick. So, put it all together and mocked it up and yes uh, as you can see in this footage I put screws in the side now I actually went back and put screws in the other one but this one you actually get to see me do it um, so this footage is live streamed recorded footage so you guys better make sure you go subscribe to RWG research live so you can see I put the really uh, high-grade aluminum tape on there and then I, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm outside sanding I'm trying to sand down the lid to get it to fit just right inside of there and uh, unfortunately sanding just didn't quite work so what I ended up doing which I thought was pretty cool is I used this heat gun and just really quickly ran it down the side and I was able to just shrink the edges just perfectly and um, in case you guys ever need to do this yes a heat gun melts it but you can only melt it a little bit once you melt it past about a quarter inch it just gets hard and uh, it doesn't seem to doesn't seem to do better after that so it's just for a light grazing otherwise if it's more than like a quarter inch then get the hot hot wire styrofoam cutter back out and cut more off but this is just for the very light here I put up the chat down there in the bottom I did that so that uh, people who are watching my videos don't go to YouTube and watch them go to rwgresearch.com forward slash live and watch them and the chat is there that's where I monitor the chat so here I did the lid. I did the exact same as last time. I put on a, a lip. So I have a one inch lip on a two inch piece of styrofoam. And um, I'm not quite sure I didn't watch the end of this video yet. So I'm not quite sure I put the seals on there. But yes indeed I did put a double seal. And then later I actually added latches onto this box. So I'll throw up some images at the end of this uh, with those latches. But the seals and the latches, and I even 3D printed the bottom latches. This all will come later. You'll see this in, in later videos. This is just to get you guys introduced to the 
uh, styrofoam box and how I basically constructed it and showing you that the hot wire styrofoam cutter actually worked really well and uh, yeah all is well one day at a time so this is your cold fusion update today is uh, the 19th of October and hopefully I'll be posting more soon I gotta edit some footage what's up everybody so I thought I would show you some pictures but instead I just decided to make a short video clip and show you what the finished box sort of looks like this is pretty well done I could add some more insulation tape over the entire box if I think I needed to but I think it's okay so this is the big box uh, and in the next upcoming video you're actually probably not gonna see the big box because it's actually like old footage anyway I wanted to show you the latches and the hinges uh, that I built into this system so and the seals the latches uh, I got these latches from Home Depot local hardware store and then the bottom actually has 3d printed brackets with screws as pins uh, and the reason I did that is because when I put this in the lab hood which is where I'm going to do the experiment uh, I can't get under here and flip latches so the, this box opens like this okay and you can see I have latches on the bottom and then I just have screws for pins on the bottom and that works fine um, oh and then the seal which is the other thing I was going to show you I have a double seal on here and they run uh, all the way around the box and those those work really well I got these actually at the local hardware store as well and it's really flexible material really squishy which makes it really nice and then the same thing for the inside box I have a latch here 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 and here I'll get you a close-up shot of this so you can see it a little better. So I'll give you a little sneak peek of what's in this box. More boxes. <laughs> You'll see that in the upcoming video, but these latches worked really well. I just used regular wood screws, but I used the fine tooth wood screws. Now, the ones out here actually have a small head and um, I guess, let me pop this off, I'll show you. The ones out here have a small head and they actually seem to work a little better uh, you can see them uh, I didn't use the regular screws I used ones that were almost the, the thickness of this which was about two inches um, I would recommend using like a inch and three quarter or something because when you suck this all the way in they would they would want to stick out I had to go back and cut them off so this is what the inside bo box looks like and the outside box and then that hinge mechanism let's put the let's put the inside one together and I'll show you how the bottom hinge mechanism works pretty tight tolerances in here the bottom ones are even harder to get to but this box is just sitting in here so okay so there's that one so let me show you how the bottom one works let me get that set up okay so we're up underneath this box and you can see these brackets are just two holes and then a slot and so basically when you put this on these screws fit in those slots and pull the bottom in just like that and that seems to work really well and then the rest of it just gets latched and that's it real simple Alright, well, there's your update and uh, more of this project coming soon. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Peace and love. See ya.